in half a mile. Arrive at Floyd Land Park. We are on our way to Floyd Land Park, in case you were wondering. In case you weren't wondering, <laughs> we're still going to Floyd Land Park. So this park is not free, guys. Just so you know. Six dollars. Six dollars. That's right. It's April through, I think, October. It's 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. How are the hours? Uh, March was 8 to 5. Oh, wow. Jeez. So it's a good thing we're here in April. Yeah. City of Las Vegas, Floyd Lamb Park. At Arrive at Floyd Lamb Park. Arrived. I'm not sure if you can say Tule Springs or Tule Springs. I'm not sure how you say it, but there you go. Yeah. Six dollars for a car, bus man, a dollar a person, walk by course, free, so or you can get a general pass for 50 bucks. All right, so we're going to keep driving because I looked at the satellite map and this is just a smidgen of the park. But this area of the park reminds me of the show Sister Wives when Cody and his four wives, was it Mary, Janelle, Chris, Christine, and Robin, still lived in Las Vegas. And I remember them parking over here and picnicking. I remember that. I remember that white picket fence because I'd wondered what park they were at. And this is it. Ooh, film location, guys. <laughs> I'm really curious. We didn't get any kind of uh, pamphlet, but there's like some buildings and stuff and looks historic. So unfortunately, I have not done any oh, research on this park. Really yeah, we were also wondering if there are bathrooms at, these, at this huge park and uh, so far it looks like there is. So um, the lakes I was talking about is back here. So I saw the map on that too. So, um, See some birds. birds. Hello. <laughs> birds butts is what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> oh, there's some water. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. There's some nice... Uh, some geese right here. Canadian geese. Oh, yeah. Some nice Impressive. walkways. Impressive. <laughs> and lots of grass. All right, guys. I was doing a little bit of uh, research on this park while we parked for a hot second. And I guess it used to be a divorce ranch. It's been a lot of things, but it was a divorce ranch where it showed like more women um, coming out here and staying here for six weeks because that's how long it takes for a divorce out here in Reno. I think that's why a lot of celebrities would come to Nevada to get a divorce. Um, I guess it doesn't matter where you got married, but you can come here and get divorced. So interesting. Uh, there's also some Adobe home back over there where we're, we were at. So we're going to try to see if we can see all this stuff because it definitely has some history. And the peacocks do exist out here too. And they said something about them being good watchdogs because they make sounds when somebody's on their ranch. So um, it's called Tule Springs. I got that right. Oh, and it's also Natural Springs. Yes. So hopefully there'll be some plaques or something that I can read up on. And now I'm not going to show my ugly mug and we're just going to show what we're driving at. By the look of the map, I think it ends here where you can, this is the picnic area, group picnic area, um, where you just turn around and go back the way we well, came well, with all the, much, right? yeah, I guess we're just going to keep going until we can. Yeah, there's more bathrooms and shaded areas. But yeah, I believe this. Oh, never mind. It's the end of the road. Yeah, it must be <laughs> yeah, the end of the park time. right here. So, okay. So, we've covered most of it. And once again, do not abandon animals in this park. It makes me wonder if people do that a lot, that they have never seen um, that sign at a park before. That's sad if somebody actually intentionally abandons their animals. Like, okay. Hey guys, it's Let Your Light Shine. I know, quite the intro. Like we did all this driving around and now here I am. That's right. Anyway, we have parked now by the historical, what I think are historical buildings. We're going to find out more about it, hopefully. <laughs> uh, there really isn't anything on this little information thing about that stuff. It's more people posting stuff. Oh, Gotta find a peacock though. I hope I find one because they're supposed to be here. Maybe they're only here at certain times of the year. So what? Oh yeah, I guess you can go fishing. Well, you have to have a fishing license, but it's a, it's it's an option out here. Anyway, we're gonna park. Well, we already parked. We're not gonna park. We 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 are out of the car now. We're we're in the park itself after we parked. Buddy number two is with me. Uh, yeah, so let's go check it out. All right, these little guys are bathrooms. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of covered picnic areas. Appreciate all that. Some big old birds of different origins. 
peacocks are not a plenty at the moment. But you know, do peacocks like fly? No, they, I don't think they do, right? Like an ostrich, they, am I being dumbass right now? I don't think they do. So if they, if they don't, then they reside somewhere on the grounds. Oh, oh, I see one. Yay, let's, let's, go, let's go over there. All right, so there is one, but is it? No, it's not gated. Okay, I thought it was like surrounded by fence line, but he's just over there behind this fence, but on the other side it's open. So he's allowed to uh, roam the premises. What I did learn is you don't want to go too close to them because they can be a little aggressive. Oh, so, yeah. so those are the sounds that they, those are the sounds they make when they know people are invading their area. So hence why they call them watchdogs. I know, very pretty though. I was hoping you would uh, flip his tail out, but Nope. Just wants to mind his business. Okay, finally. There he is. Very pretty. Let's get him around. Looks definitely different on the back side, though. <laughs> I know, I'm like, we don't want your butt side. We want the front side. Although I'm afraid to, like, go near him, because... Wow. Oh, come on. What? We don't want to see that side. <laughs> Rude. Interesting how it holds his, his tail up like that. Okay, dude. I know. We're like, thanks. <laughs> He's like, you're not going to see my pretty tail. Heck no. Stubborn bird. There, think, no, come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost comical at this point. I've never met a peacock like this before, her they don't want to face you. He's like, nope. Nope, you can't see my beauty. Okay, I'm getting a side view of him. Thank you. Oh my God. Please. Oh. oh, no you did not. <laughs> All right guys, we wanted to check out that gazebo. Reminds us, reminds us both of the Sound of Music. Of course, it's a little bit smaller than that one, but still. Yes, amongst all my friends here. I'm hoping to find some plaques on a lot of these really cool structures I'm looking at. I think I see some straight ahead. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Alright, well this is just a map. Well, not just a map. I mean, still very yeah, helpful. The one okay. Uh, so you can see all the four lakes, apparently. And then over here, historic area. Thank you. Okay, so this gazebo is not anything like The Sound of Music because that one was enclosed and way bigger. But hey, from afar, okay, from afar. So um, here we all go, guys. Look at this goodness. I'll read it to you if you really want me to. But look at all this stuff. Suspension, bridge, gazebo, duplex, swimming pool, bathhouse. So yeah, when this um, entrance gate to Tilly Springs Ranch... Stay here? Yeah, because when they would want to get divorced, they would stay here for six weeks. Oh, so, the yeah, so that's, oh, I don't know exactly, oh, what that structure is over there, but I was watching a quick video and it showed that, and then they started talking about divorce ranches. So, uh, yeah, hang on a second. All right, guys, uh, I guess I'm going to read this to you. So, enjoy. All right, I'm just going to like overlook the structures, kind of like back in the day when I used to vlog and read stuff. So, uh, anywho, here we go. The availability of fresh spring water from the Tule Springs made the site ideal for development. Native Americans used the springs during seasonal trips through the area. Around 1904, the population of Las Vegas began to grow with the impending arrival of railroads and Tule Springs became a watering stop on the stage route to the Bullfrog mining camps to the Northwest. 
and says in 1906, the Las Vegas and Tonopah Railroad bypassed Tule Springs one mile to the west, halting development of the site. A newspaper article from May 1906 suggests that the Tule Springs was abandoned. Aw, that's, that's a bum deal. But there's more. 1916, Miller W. I don't know, Blodgett, but excuse me, a native of Ohio received a 120 acre land grant from the state of Nevada. The westernmost 40 acres would become the nucleus of the Tule Springs Ranch. See, I don't know how you say this guy's name. Blodgett? 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 He did not improve the property. Wow. He sold it one year later to John Herbert Ney, who began agriculture development. Historic area contains several historic buildings and structures that com comprise Tule Springs Ranch, purchased and named by Las Vegas businessman Prosper Gomond in 1941. The southern group of buildings contains the residence of the ranch foreman and other ranch buildings, as well as buildings for the use of paying guests, many of whom were seeking Nevada divorces. So that's what we're talking about, the divorce ranch. At the northern edge of the historic area is a line of agriculture buildings that supported the working cattle ranch. Tule Springs Ranch closed in the 1950s. So I guess this house is the foreman's house. Of course, the sun's fading a lot of this stuff out, but historic photo of the rear view. View of the front of the foreman's house, looking southeast. Okay, here's the structure. So I don't know if we're allowed to just kind of take a peek ski through the window. When they got, they have it all like set up there. Even strawberries. Oh, oh my. Okay, so entrance, please exit back door. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, they have it all lit. Laid out in there with furniture and all. Hello. So I guess we were just in the wrong area to find these guys, but they're all around the ranch. So how do you do? I won't get too close to you. <laughs> You're a little too quiet right now. All right, so we're gonna check this one out. Hopefully this plaque right here says something about it. Foreman's house is a lot bigger than I thought. And kind of good. I mean, it's like a, maybe it's like an L-shape or something here. Here we go. View of the water tower looking southeast. Okay. So the construction of the irrigation system at Tule Springs Ranch occurred 1942-1944. All right. I don't want to read the whole entire thing, but it's just like, oh, just a water tower? yeah, it's a water tower. That makes sense. All right. So I don't know if we're allowed to walk up to it, but it looks really cool. I mean, I don't know why, when I first saw it, which made absolutely no sense to be a lighthouse, but I mean, that's what I thought of it when I first saw it. I was like, oh, a lighthouse, but it's not by the ocean or anything, so it makes no sense. Um, oh, there's something back there, too. Okay. So it must be like a, oh, there's like a, you know, you stick to the actual road here. They'll take you back. So I'm glad they do have plaques here so you can read along. I guess this must be the self-guided tour they're talking about. Here's the back side of the Foreman house. So yeah, it's kind of like an L-shaped house. I like all the big windows. It's really pretty. It's not open, so uh, I guess you got to have either an appointment or come during certain hours to actually go into some of these buildings. Uh, so we are looking at the this thing right here is a view of Tool Springs Ranch buildings, the root cellar, outdoor fireplace, and pump house. So I guess that's what we're looking at. Right yeah. That. Wow. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a picture of this water tower. All right now it's talking about the divorce ranch. So these ladies were having a great time here for six weeks, hanging out with the old cowboys. I guess they would go swimming too. At least that's what the video said. So. Yeah. Hay rides. Trap shooting. Oh. Yeah, wow. What do you want? <laughs> Are you going to guide us? Or are you just staring at us? What? What? Alright. Fine. Yeah. You mind your business, I'll mind mine. Thank you. Alright, so now we're moving on. Two. What are we looking at? Oh, the outdoor fireplace. It talks about that. Used by Tule Springs Ranch guests for barbecues, parties, and dinners. I just imagine all the energy of that back in the day. It's kind of interesting. 
pump house and water wheel. Okay. So that must be the little pump house right there. It says pump house sits atop the first well drilled first well drilled at Tule Springs Ranch. Okay. Park visitors can still view the machinery inside that pumped water from the 600 foot deep well to cisterns, reservoirs, and ponds at the ranch. Date of construction in 1948. And the water wheel spanned a channel that carried water from the pump house. It was built to provide ambiance to the grounds for the ranch guests. Thank you for the ambiance. You're amazing. All right, looks like we can actually walk over the suspension bridge. Um, so yeah, it says Prosper Gelman's irrigation of his property was almost, was important to his farming operations. Influential in creating the oasis at Tool Springs Ranch. He created an artificial fish pond spanned by suspension bridge for the enjoyment of the ranch guests. Well, there's no the pond, but there's the guest house right here. Like it was one of the buildings where Tule Springs Ranch guests lodged. It contained four suites, each with a bedroom, living room, dressing, and bathroom. The barren area north of the guest house was once an orchard with several varieties of fruit trees, including apple, pear, apricot, peach, and almond. Uh, wow. So, obviously, you won't let us go in there I don't think but very interesting so I guess beyond this area was all the trees wow all right well let's walk the bridge guys uh normally when I do a historic vlog I normally do my research before I get here this is the first time well I mean I'm not saying I don't come in clueless because I normally do but I would say I come in clueless and come out educated just saying all right, let's do this, guys. We're walking over, well, we're not walking over a pond anymore. But I can see that, can you see that? Moving, creating ambiance, the sounds of the water wheel, the water trickling, walking over water. Can you guys imagine that? Well, what's up? Yeah, that would have been nice. And, yeah. So I wonder how much of all this was underwater then, because that had to move. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's some buildings back here that I didn't notice when we were driving up here. So the hills are kind of blocking it. So this is a duplex. It was built in the original Tool Springs site to the house ranch guests, and the abandoned water cistern remains under the building. The duplex contained two guest units, each with a living room, dressing room, and bathroom. So if it's underground, under the cistern, we're not going to be able to see under the building, obviously. Just imagine it, I guess. All right. Ooh. There's also that old adobe home is yonder, so we'll see that too. Oh, this was a swimming pool. Wow, that's, that was it. That's huge. That's where they would go swimming. Yeah, that is. That's it. That's, that's a big-ass pool. So it says ranch guests enjoying the pool under the shade of willow trees. So, wow, that... I thought that was a lake when I first saw that picture. Note the water channel feeding the pool under the diving board. I don't note it, but I guess there's a diving board, so. Interesting. Ranch guests in the pool. Tule Springs Ranch pool surrounded by the white fence commonly used at the ranch. I wonder if that was the original. Maybe. So it did become a watering stop, it said, on the stage route of bullfrog mining camps. As I mentioned before, so, well, interesting. All right, well, here's this building, so let's go check that out. All right, so it says this building here is a generator building. Generator building was a second powerhouse to provide electricity at Tule Springs, historically known as the diesel house. Still shelters the Fairbanks Morse diesel engine that powered the generator. The small wing at the west side of the building was a later addition for fuel storage. I'm rather curious about this but uh, we got this There's one. This yeah, so we're gonna go look at this plaque right here. Don't know what this building is yet, but we will soon find out now, won't we guys and gals? This is the bathhouse. Oh, okay. Really? Makes sense why there's no windows. Oh, that's true. So views showing bathhouse in the foreground. All right, guys, this remains I was looking at earlier is the diesel oil support or remains of the diesel oil support structure survived that's surviving today. So, here's this building. Don't know what it is yet, but we will soon find out because they've got plaques to tell us. And of course, that's just a public bathroom situation. Um, 
If you can read it, yeah. Whoo, damn. Well and Beyond the bird poop and the sun situation. Powerhouse, well, and... Oh, no, something... What's that? Something house, uh, like well, and powerhouse. Yikes, okay. Spring house, maybe? Spring house and well floor plan. Be an NG, an well, if you just touched all that bird no, poop away. <laughs> Gross. Anyway, guys. I think... Besides the Adobe home, I think we've pretty much covered everything here. We came at a good time, by the way. Um, this is April, the beginning of April, so it's not super hot. It's a little chilly. It's like, what, 60-something degrees? Yeah. Not windy. It was windy a couple days ago. It was really bad. So this is a really perfect time. Uh, springtime or fall time, I think. It's not too freezing, not too hot. Because um, during the summer, oh my god. Yeah, that's what I say. Anyway, we're going to walk over to the adobe situation and then we're going to go check out the lake situation. Why, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So what's kind of cool is if you follow these sidewalks, they actually take you. Oh, look at the peacock. He decided to open, open his tail up. Maybe he's not going to be as rude as the first one. And, oh no, he's just as rude. Oh my God. <laughs> Nobody needs to see your butt. Thank you, though. All right, so beyond the bushes here is the Adobe Hut. It's a modern name given to the oldest building at Tilly Springs Ranch. Historic sources suggest that the building is associated with the stagecoach line that stopped at Tilly Springs or with the mining company established near the, the springs in the early 1900s. I might as well just show birds' butts, okay? <laughs> That's better than the bushes after a while? I don't know. The Adobe Hut was on the property when Bert Ney purchased it in 1916. Nay and his wife, Anne, made the primitive dwelling their first home at Tule Springs, adding a roof, doors, and windows, and Nays later used it for storage and as a blacksmith shop. All right, so uh, let's go check it out. All right, so just yonder, we're hitting all the agriculture area right here, but around this corner, past the peacock, these peacocks, by the way, are so rude. I'm not kidding. Like... Okay, n no joke. The ones in California, at least, hello, look at me. Maybe because they're more narcissistic out there. They're like, I'm pretty. These ones, they're going to show their little tail and they're going to turn and show their butts to you because they don't want you to see their tail. Maybe they're just more humble birds. Or, I don't know, Vegas peacocks. Though. They're not going to show you their um, <laughs> their tail. That didn't sound right, but you know what I'm talking about. Their, their beautifulness. They keep turning around facing the corner like they're in trouble or something. It's so weird because like the second one did that. I went up over not too close and he turned around. I'm like, okay, the ones I used to encounter at Irvine Regional Park, San Diego Zoo, or wherever, they would just be right in front and center. Just like walking around like, hey, what's up? Look at my big old tail. I'm beautiful. So anyway, let's go look at this adobe hill. All right, let's get to the, the point of my video in the first place. Not me rambling. Unfortunately, we can't go in. It's not open, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> and someone's throwing rocks, but <laughs> I just caught you throwing rocks at my butt. The tree is not doing it. You know, since I was talking about California, squirrels do that. They throw shit at you. <laughs> Those little guys are freaking brats, man. Yorba Regional Park. I used to live near that park. Beautiful park. Loved it. Squirrels are aggressive over there. Holy cow. Anyway, let's go check out the agriculture area. I was just saying, this looks like a chicken coop, and now I'm looking at this thing, it says chicken coops. <laughs> All right, so this is a cow barn and feed stall. Okay, that makes sense. This is a, you know, pretty nice setup for these animals, at least from what I've seen in the past of other farms and my life visits. Oh, you. You. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Lead the way. This is like like the, the room, the, the hallway, they keep stretching. Because every time I think we're done, like, oh, it's just that one adobe hall, and then we're going to go to the lake, and, you know, I'll do my Q&A there. It keeps going. Like, holy hell. Um, I'm are assuming these are just... Huh? Are these also too? I guess. Let's, let's go check it out. Here, let me do a... I like to do the wide view ever since my new phone. It has that option. I feel like, why not cover as much as possible so you can see everything? 
Yeah, I'm guessing these are more chicken coops. So, and up there says outhouse. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh good Lord. If you had to go all the way over there. Oh. I guess I'm not that hungry or thirsty. Like, I don't want to. Yeah, maybe just for that alone. Okay, actually, it says hog houses. So the chicken coops were where we were, and then we saw the cow barn feed stall, animal housing, hog houses. So, right there? no, I think it's this one right here. So it looks the same, just animal housing and hog houses. So like, what other animals? I guess I didn't want to mention. Or, or they really get stinky. oh yeah. Actually, the sad part is, is the buildings to the left and right were used to house pigs. Animals were raised for meat and slaughtered in the area behind the dairy barn. So way out here. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's sad. All right, so this area is the horse barn and garage. And behind it is this massive building we wanted to check out as well. So we're going to walk over there. So it's not open. I thought we would be able to see right through it, but it's not. Um, it's locked up and personnel only kind of thing. So I'm not 100% sure. We're guessing. Oh, there's a lake right in front of me. How pretty. Yeah, they must because this is really well done with a beautiful entrance like that. And then look at that lake up ahead like that. Yeah, this is really cool. As I trip. This is so cool. I'm so excited. I'm going to trip. All right, approaching closer and closer. Yeah, these. Uh, this park definitely reminds me of the regional parks that I used to live near. Cause you really felt like you were in the middle of nowhere. You, it was so massive that you could just like escape from your reality and just pretend you're in somewhere else. This is really pretty. We also had some snow recently, so beautiful snow-capped mountains. All right, guys, we went down the way again to be by the water side. Enjoy our duck friends and these guys. Loons? I don't know. What are these things? Anybody want to know? Anyone want to tell us? I mean, if you want to know and tell us, that'd be even better. Um, my friend here is... Sh uh, setting up a, a charcuterie and uh, yeah that's all I got for you so we're gonna end the vlog all right guys well that concludes here at Floyd Lamb Tule Springs Ranch Park goodness in Vegas whatever sorry I didn't do the history I should have I knew about this park a couple years ago because uh, the guy at work told me about it and he said there's peacocks there and I'm like oh cool and I'm like oh man it's kind of far so now I finally got to it and I'm glad I did because it was really cool. Um, well, now I know more about the park since the visitor center lady that we paid gave us absolutely nothing but a receipt. <laughs> so we came into it going, there's something going on here. Because, you know, I'm all about when I see a relic, I know there is some history going on. I'm like, there better be some historical landmark uh, plaques to be said about this because how sad that would be. But no. They have plenty of reading here. Lots of self-guided tour situations going on. Then you can picnic here at the beautiful lakes. Yay. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And once again, here's yet another thing you can do off the strip. If you're here in Vegas and you don't want to gamble or drink and sin. Well, you don't have to sin when you're in Vegas. But I'm just saying, if you don't feel like doing any of those things, there's plenty of other things to do. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thought we'd walk around the lake and look how cool that is. It's one lake going into the other lake. Very cool. Alright guys, I'm back to the next one. Look at that. So it's like each lake is pouring into the other lake that's pouring into the other lake. So look how cool. Wouldn't that be a fun water slide? Oh my god. How cool is that? Yeah. And boom. You Drop into a pool and you can continue on to another slide. Although that is not happening in this situation, but come on. Water park fun waiting to happen.
is perusing the lakes at the very end here. See cute little babies with their mom and dad. Very cute. And I guess the aunts and uncles, I have no <laughs> idea what's going on over there. 